Hello YouTube and welcome to RPG Maker MV Tutorial. In today's video, it's just a quick one, we're going to be looking at how to implement a clock feature to your game so you can get events to trigger or not trigger based on certain times of the day. Okay, let's get started. First of all, what you're going to want to do is download the files I've provided in the link. So you get those, then what you'll do is you'll open it up here it looks something like this don't worry about a lighting tool we're not going to be using that today that's for another tutorial get your game editor core and your game time I and both right click copy and paste them in your project folder so that would be for me bad apple games bad apple games bad apple games js for javascript then plugins folder right click and paste them in there then what you will do come back to this screen where you've got um, go to images and then in here you see a folder called editor it's got three different lights if you don't have this installed it won't work it'll crash so right click on the editor the folder you want the whole folder so right click on the folder editor then paste it in here under images img so as you can see I've got one in there called editor so you paste it in there just right click and paste replace the files as you can see if you open it up you've just got three little icons for light sources and time if you didn't have that it'll crash so if it's crashing make sure you've got that installed and you want to click the whole folder called editor then back in our game go to plugin manager and install them by clicking here and select them from a drop down list and choosing game editor core and game time respectively and when they're installed make sure you've got they're at the bottom of your plugin list and you've got game editor core first and underneath that you've got game time don't worry about game editor core that is, that's just the main feature to get LMN's uh, plugins working so double click on game time as you can see here you've got enabled if you, you can double click on that you can write in false to set it to false if you don't want it on you've got default time we've set ours to, it's based on the 24 hour clock we've set ours to 17.15 so that's 5.15 p.m. that's the initial time the game will start at time lapse speed that's how, how quick you want the time to go the higher the number the quicker the game clock will move through the minutes on default 60 that is basically one minute one second of real time is one minute of game time on the clock especially at 60 it works better that way it takes 24 minutes to do a whole day to night cycle or a whole 24 hour clock you've got to keep tint during battle you can tell that to false if you want you've got show clock in menu show clock on map that's defaults to false you want to put that to true if you want to see it on you on your map you want to double click in there it says false in there you want to type in true you've got clock map x position and y position you can enter in the value there to move it and reposition the clock on the screen wherever you want it since by time i've never actually been been able to get this to work to work properly basically what it should do is any different hour slots of time of the day you type in a red green and blue value and it will tint the screen to that color that's given the time of the day if anyone else can get this working please let me know in the comment section i'll be really interested to see how you got that working and these are the plugin commands here this is what you'll be referring to to do most of your programming your visual scripting inside rpg maker you've got time pause time play time set time the one we're going to be using today is this one time limit 6 to 140 it says it activates the cell switch A between 6 a.m. and 1.40 p.m. What you can do is just highlight it, right click and copy. When it's all set up, what we'll choose an event you want to activate. I've already got mine set up. As you can see on tab 1, we've got two plugin commands. We've got time limit. I've set mine from 9 from nine o'clock in the morning. Don't ever put zero before the 9 if it's in the morning or before whatever time in the morning. And then so from 9 till 5.35 activate switch cell switch A and this one's from 5.36 to 8.59 activate cell switch B so that's basically going to be our opening time and that's going to be our closing time so now if you go if you go to tab 2 have it on same as characters action button if you go to tab 2 this is cell switch A is checked on and this is what will happen during opening hours it will transfer the player to inside but if, it, if it's if it's past opening time the hours we set here look 
if it's between 5.36 to 8.59 in the morning, it'll go to sell switch B and it'll say, sorry, this store is now closed. Feel free to get really creative with this. What you can really do if you play the game now, we'll just save that. So if we, we should, we should, we can enter because it's not quite 5.35 yet. See the clock is ticking, one minute per. So you can still enter. I want to get to 5.35 in just a few seconds. It should say the store is now closed. Now it's closed. So if we try and enter now, it says, sorry, this store is now closed. And we can do that as many times as we want, but we cannot gain access until 9 o'clock in the morning. And that's it for today's quick tutorial YouTube and how we can implement a really cool feature into your game instead of doing all this sort of uh, visual scripting or mind melting, mind numbing, mind rotting uh, steps to get a time system in your game. It's a very cool plugin. I like it a lot. I use it in my own game on RPG Maker that I'm currently making. So yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so so I can help keep me motivated to keep bringing more great content like this. Stay tuned as I release a video every Saturday and Sunday at 10 p.m. GMT, which is probably about 3 o'clock stateside in LA or about 5 o'clock in the evening stateside. For all the Americans joining in, thank you very much. See ya. This is Bad Apple Gamer, and I'm signing out.